Hey guys, welcome in my little laser corner. I got all my machines over here. Some are on the wall, the other ones are on the desk. I've got the MacPow X4 Pro uh, over here. I recently did a review on this one. A really nice machine, class one, fully enclosed. All the safety features included. I've got the S30 Pro Max in my uh, enclosure. Created this one myself some time ago. And I got the iQ Pro also over there. Uh, nice machine to work with as well. But uh, I do get uh, questions frequently about how to connect this machine over Wi-Fi, so without uh, connecting it via USB, and also how to operate the, the mobile app. So I thought, why not just create a small tutorial? Um, I will show you in this tutorial how you can create things like this using the mobile app. Uh, if you like it, uh, watch till the end, and hopefully uh, you will enjoy the video. So let's go into the Google Play Store, and then search for MKS Laser. You will find this program, the one that I'm highlighting. Install it on your tablet or smartphone. Then open it. You need to agree and accept, otherwise it will close down the program. Then go into the left top corner and switch from Bluetooth to Wi-Fi. Now change the IP address to 192.168.4.1. And before you can connect, uh, first uh, make sure there's an SD card in your laser. Turn on the laser. Now go into your Wi-Fi settings and look for the available networks. And there should be an SSID from uh, MacPow popping up. It might take a few seconds. Here it is, MacPow underscore 24742. Connect it. Click it to connect. It says connected to the device. Cannot get any internet, of course. You will get another pop-up like this. You can just click it away. Now it's directly connected uh, from the tablet to your uh, laser machine. And you can press connect in the app. And you can see it's successfully connected. Now if you go back to the main menu and you go to the control panel, you can select fast, medium or slow, 50 millimeter, 10 or one. If I jog it up, up and down, you can see on the video, you can now control your laser from the app. Um, if I'm positioning it on top of the plywood that I have inside the laser, let me do that. Then press this icon. This is now set to the starting point. If you go to the home, it doesn't move. So now you can go back and go into material. There's some fun uh, yeah, uh, pictures that you can use. Let's say I'm taking the car. I will say strong. I will go next. Then I want to have it 50 millimeter. Oh, 50. The file name I will call car. Then the speed of the machine is 2000 millimeters a minute. And this is a 22 watt laser, so I will say uh, 200 laser power, press OK. If I now do the this one, you can see it's framing and I can see it will fit on the on the, on the plywood. Um, let me go back because I forgot one thing. If you go to control, over here you can turn on the laser or also turn on the, the air assist. Uh, with this machine, if the air assist is not on, the fan is also not spinning, so I will turn it on manually. Because for engraving it will not uh, turn on. I'll go back to the car, strong, next. I will say 50 millimeters. I will call it car again. The speed I will set to 2000 millimeters a minute and the power to 200. I will set it so it's on the same position. Frame it, you can see it's still nicely framed. Now I can press this one and it will upload to the SD card. So again, if there's no SD card uh, inside the machine, you will get an error message. It's the card which is included with the machine when you purchase it. Upload successful, grave it now. I will say confirm. And he says confirm and now you can see the progress. You can also, if you press this one, change the settings on the go. So if you want to go it faster or more power, you can do so. And now it's engraving, as you can see. 
So it's pretty easy, you don't need any computer, it's uh, connected via Wi-Fi, so no USB connection. And you can create some, uh, some fun stuff. You can also draw something yourself, I can show you that later on. But if you want to do a quick engrave, um, yeah, you can use the app, it's uh, pretty easy uh, to operate as you can see. I will wait for the engraving uh, to be finished. Also a nice feature, again, a safety feature, if you open the lid, it will turn off, it will beep, and if I now press uh, the play again, it will just continue where it was. So that's a very nice safety feature of the, the X4. Pro in this case. Also the, the fan is doing a good job. I don't see any smoke inside so it works great. And that's the original fan so no additional fan attached. It's the included fan uh, which came with the machine. Now 93%. It's almost ready. Now it's ready, I press confirm, I can open the one, oh, let me see if I can, no it's over, I can jog it to get it out of the way, and I will take out the engraving. As you can see here's your car, I can clean it a little bit, because there's uh, some uh, yeah, spots from the air assist. But it's nice and easy. Now let me show you how you can create something yourself. Uh, let's go back to the sketch. I will do creation. I will say a pen for instance. I will uh, choose this line. And I can just type something or write something. Go to here. I will say gray in this time. Again. 50 millimeters, 2000, and 200. Let me see if it's, I need to move my machine. Set it, oh yeah, the, as you can hear, the air pump will switch off automatically. It has like a dwell time, so it's, when it's ready, it will also uh, stay on for a few more, uh, I think a minute, uh, so it can clear out the smoke, so that's a nice feature. Let me move my uh, laser head to a position on the plywood. Uh, let me move it back a little bit. A little bit more. Move it up. Set the position. And now I will do the framing. As you can see, it's framing. I will say upload. Engrave it, yes. Confirm. And it will start engraving. You see, it's ninety one percent now. and it says that it's ready let me uh, move the laser to the home position using the buttons on the machine that's a very easy feature and take it out and show you the results and close this one here you can see you've got the hello that I just uh, yeah, have written down in the in the app so simple as that let me turn off the machine. Once you turn off the machine, it will lose the connection with the Wi-Fi. So if you go back to the home screen, um, 
now it's not connected anymore it's disconnected so you need to reconnect first uh, directly to the tablet then you can reconnect uh, the machine and use the app again so thanks for watching hopefully my video was helpful and you will also be able to connect your laser over wi-fi and use the mobile app if you have any questions please leave them down uh, below in the comment section i will always try to uh, answer them uh, as soon as possible um, if you like the video please let me know in the comment section i would love to read it or leave a thumbs up it will really help me with the uh, algorithm uh, with that said i think i will end the video and hopefully i will see you in the next one Bye.